Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd ayyul ahabati fillah Al-Birru Al-Birru al-habati fillah which is today's halaqa Al-Birr or righteousness as it's often translated Al-Birru as-sidqu wa ta'atu wa al-khayru wa fadlu wa al-birr wa al-birr yubarru idha salaha wa al-birr wa al-birr fi yaminihi yubarru Ahabati fillah al-birr or righteousness in the Arabic language it refers to truthfulness and obedience and goodness and benefit and it refers to if you rectify something or fix something and as a sharia term ahabati fillah albiru it is to strive and make efforts to do, to do an action of goodness, an action of khair, fi'l al khair, or an action, a pleasing action, which is a part of tazkiyat al nafs. This is imperative for us to understand this righteousness, this bitter, that this is a way of purifying ourselves. It is striving and making an effort to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to do righteous and uh, good and beneficial actions which please your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and are a part of purifying yourself because we all need tiskiya the nafs, abit fillah. We need this. Ahl Sunnah needs this. And this is a part of the minhaj and the methodology of Ahl Sunnah is that they're trying to purify themselves. The reason we know we use uh, 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 or part of actualizing Tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is purifying yourself because that's acting upon Tawheed. How can you have Tawheed al uluhiya without doing those actions of Ibadah? Not in an empty fashion, meaning not praying all your Salats and your Sunnahs on time and your heart is not present or fasting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the month of Ramadan and fasting outside of the month of Ramadan and your heart's not not there you're busy with Muharramat you're busy with thinking about this you're busy with thinking about that and you have no sense of ibadah the purification of Habbati Fillah this is what we want to strive for in actualizing that Tawheed it's a part of actualizing that Tawheed all of these righteous actions and deeds Al-Birru Barr al-Abdu Rabbuhu Ay to wasa fi ta'ati Performing righteousness For the sake of your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala Your Lord, Allah This means to be Striving to be obedient to Him To do all of those, because all of ta'atillah is goodness. Everything good is a part of ta'atillah. Everything good is a part of ta'atillah. It's a part of being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And birr walid al walid. What is birr walid? Birr walid al habit fillah is when you are righteous to your parents, meaning that you are striving and making efforts to. Do their bidding and be righteous to them, be gentle and kind with them, and obedient to them, and listening to their commands, and helping them, and assisting them in every way possible, and being respectful. Ahabati fillah, may Allah bless us with those attributes. I mean, ya Rabbil Alameen. Biru ahabati fillah. Bitter, it includes all of those acts of righteousness, of sadaqah of being obedient to your parents and keeping ties with your family and parents and may Allah forgive us of our shortcomings in those uh, affairs I mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem laysa al-birra an tuwallu wujuhukum qibla al-mashriqi wal-maghrib 
ولكن البر من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر والملائكة والكتاب والنبيين وأتى المال وأتى المال لحبه ذو القربى واليتامى والمساكين وابن السبيل والسائلين وفي رقاب وقام الصلاة وآتى الزكاة والموفون بعهدهم إذا عهدوا والصابرين في البأساء والضراء وحين البأس وحين البأس أولئك الذين صدقوا وأولئك هم المتقون الله سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة البقرة سبحانه وتعالى قال Righteousness is not that you turn your faces toward the east or the west but true righteousness is in one who believes in Allah the last day the angels, the book, and the prophets, and gives wealth in spite of love for it, to relatives, orphans, the needy, the travelers, those who ask for help and for freeing slaves, and who establishes prayer and gives zakat, and who fulfills their promise when they promise, and those who are patient in poverty and hardship and during battle. Those are the ones who have been true and those who are the righteous. Abutifillah, that ayat alone is sufficient for us. If we were to practice those things, so that would be yakfina. All of those acts of bitter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described and defined what bitter. لَيْسَ الْبِرَ أَنْ تُوَلُّ وُجُوكُمْ كِبْلَ الْمَشْرِكَ وَمَغْرَبِ وَلَكِنَّ الْبِرَ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَمَلَائِكَتِي وَالْكِتَابِ وَالنَّبِيِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it's not that you turn your faces to the east and the west. This is not bitter. However, bitter is that al birra and that you believe in Allah and the day of judgment and the angels and the book and the prophets alayhim afdhu salatu wa salam and that you give wealth to those who you love from your, your relatives and the orphans and the poor, the impoverished ones and the traveler and those who ask, the beggars and to free the slaves and what is part of Bira is to establish the prayer to pay the zakat, purify your wealth, to fulfill your oaths, and to be patient during trials and tribulations. Those are the ones who are truthful. Those are the ones who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us to be in the muttaqeen. That's bitter ahabati fillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al kareem, wata'awwanu وَتَعَوْنَ عَلَى بِرِّ وَتَقْوَى وَلَا تَعَوْنُوا عَلَى إِثْمِ وَعُدْوَانِ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيلُ الْعِقَابِ I think we'll stop there, Habibti Fillah, because there's some things I want to say with regards to this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَتَعَوْنَ عَلَى بِرِّ وَتَقْوَى Cooperate in righteousness. This is what we need more of in the Ummah. Ahl Sunnah needs more of this because often we find these shortcomings in ourselves as individuals. Our minhaj, our methodology is there for us. The minhaj of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, mawjood. Mawjood, kitab illa wa sunnatul rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam. But we don't cooperate. Allah commands us in the Qur'an. We say we follow kitab illa wa sunnatul rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam of the madhab of the salaf. But what is that madhab? Allah says fi kitab al-kareem, wa ta'awun ala bira wa taqwa. Cooperate in, 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 in uh, righteousness and God-fearfulness. And then what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? He prohibits now. He there's a commandment and a prohibition in this ayah. Cooperate in righteousness and God consciousness. And do not cooperate in sinfulness and hatred. Fear Allah. In Allah shadeel al Verily, Allah is severe in His torment. Habati fillah, subhanAllah, when we apply, if we think about this ayat, 
and we try to practice this ayat. Ta'awun al wa taqwa. If we start cooperating in righteousness, and we refuse to ta'awun ala ala ithm wa in enmity and hatred of others, or and, and and wickedness, if we refuse those things, someone calls you to do wickedness. Hey, let's go around the corner and do this. Let's go do this to so and so. Or better yet, a lot of times that's easy to, for us to understand and, and stay away from. But what about when the people are backbiting in front of you? Do you enjoy the backbite? Do you get right in there? Do you cooperate or do you just listen and enjoy it? Or do you at least hate it in your heart if you can't speak about it? As the Prophet ﷺ said, من رأى منكم منكر في الغيره بيد فإن لم يستطع فبلسانه وفإن لم يستطع فبقلبه ذلك عدو في الإيمان رواه مسلم. Prophet ﷺ said, if you hear a munkar, then change it with your hand. If not, if you're unable to do so, then with your uh, tongue speak out against it. If you're unable to do so, then with your heart, and that's the weakest of iman. So when you hear that wickedness, do you just get down with the program? Do you sit with them? You hear them backbiting about this person and that person? Do you get involved? Do you say, yeah, you're right? And do you spread that news after that without even affirming whether it's true or false? This is ta'awun ala ithm wa'udwan. This is cooperating in wickedness and enmity because you're spreading enmity. You're causing enmity. Maybe you're hating for somebody, someone for no reason. You don't even know why you're hating them. This is very dangerous, Abit Billah. Ta'awun ala bidu wa taqwa, as Allah commanded us. That's just some of what I want to say for now about this issue of bitter. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with bitter wa taqwa. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to ta'awun ala, ala bitter wa taqwa. Wala ta'awun ala ithm wal udwan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat. And bless us in our fasting and bless us in our iman, strengthen us in iman, Islam. Ihsan and brotherhood because we're surely in need of those things. And may Allah bless us with ilm al-nafir uskan tayyibu ilm al-mutakabbina ilm al-tawheed wa tatbika tawheed and fiqh fi deen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.